In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the website Animoto. Animoto is the same in both the website version and in the app that is available for your iPhone. Whenever you're ready to make a video with Animoto, you need to make sure that you are logged in. If you don't have an account, create one first. If you're an educator, they have an account for educators that will allow you to have extended video time. Normal video time is 30 seconds. Educators can record for up to three minutes without paying for a subscription. If you go to create, this will be the basic setup for beginning your recordings. Animoto immediately shows you all the styles that they have available for you to choose from. You have the ability to preview the style before using it. Some of their styles will say Pro on them, and these are ones that you have to have a paid subscription for. I'm going to choose the Rustic, and you can do a little preview of the video. So it's kind of showing you what the video will look like obviously with your pictures in it. I'm going to go ahead and choose create video. If you don't like it you can exit out and choose a different style. I'm just going to go with this one. Now it's very simple. You have lots of options. If you want to change your mind and want to change the style again you can change the style. You can change the music. You can choose from songs that they already have available for you broken down into categories or you can upload your own your own song if you choose to upload your own song it needs to be an mp3 format I have already moved a song over to mp3 format I did this in my iTunes if you would like to know how to convert a song in iTunes into mp3 format I have a video on that you can find it on my YouTube channel it's gonna upload my song for me now, of course if you select one of their songs it's a much quicker process whenever you select one of their songs you can preview the song make sure it's one you like As you can see, it takes just a little bit of time, and there we're ready. It does not take very long at all. So I've changed the style, I've changed the music, and now I need to add uh, pictures and videos. Uh, one thing I would suggest, if you want to add a text, it's always easiest to, to add the text first, because then uh, your text at the very beginning of the video. You can always move this around later, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and add text. The title of this was. Uh, I think it was students working on Khan Academy. All right. And it was in Mr. So there's my my text, my title. I'm going to go ahead and add some pictures and videos. You can get pictures and videos from social media sites or upload them off your computer. My pictures are in the My Pictures folder. I have a folder of student pictures. And now all I need to do is select the pictures that I want to put in there. I'm going to select all the pictures I took of my students working with Khan Academy. choose open and it'll take a few seconds but it'll upload all these pictures as you can now see all the images have been uploaded you can drag them into any order that you would like you can insert more text if needed and you can move the text wherever you would like so if you wanted to put in pictures of a lesson and then put the text before the picture uh, 
that's going to go with that text. You could do that. You can drag it all around into the order that you need. You can spotlight a certain picture. Uh, you can change the time that your pictures display. So notice I have 3 minutes and 10 seconds worth of video. I'm only using 49 seconds of it. I can choose to uh, make my image pacing slower. I can choose to make it even faster. I can choose to move the start of the song if needed. So I'm going to make my images just a little bit slower. Choose save. And notice it's now made my video a minute 35 instead of 49 seconds. And if I select all the pictures, if I just want to put them in some random order, I can even do that by selecting them all first and I'm just going to choose shuffle and it shuffles all the pictures up for me. I'm just going to move a picture just because to put it at the end. Alright, looks pretty good to me. You can choose to preview the video. It will make a low resolution preview first. It will then upload it to a higher resolution when you choose produce. Give your video a title. And a record date, you can add an optional description. You can watch the preview if you want to make sure it's how you want. I just always go ahead and choose skip and produce. You can go back to editing if needed. And Animoto will automatically put everything into video format for you. Notice that it's converting it to 360p. It's currently in 180. When this gets all the way across, it'll start playing. It might start playing before that. I'm going to let it finish uploading here. You can now see that the video is fully uploaded to 360p. And you can go ahead and play it. Before I do that, you can see there's lots of sharing options. You can share it on your Facebook. You can tweet it out. You can email it. There's even more options where you have the avail avail availability to put it in different um, blogs and even get the embed code to embed the video and change the size of the video whenever you embed it. These are all options. Uh, there's even the option when you choose download or export, it will you can download it to YouTube or you can download or export it um, to your desktop. So lots of different ways to save the video. And your finished product Uh, not too shabby and that's all put together by Animoto. So that is how you use Animoto, how you make a video using Animoto, how you can share that video with Animoto. If you have any more questions, please make sure and ask.